Hey, we're the K3. I'm Jen. I'm Karen. I'm Marisa. And this is our news shot, which is kind of like where we just take some information and we dig in. But this week, we've got a new announcement. So we're going to dive right in because we kind of threw it out to our friends out on Twitter and elsewhere to see what it was that you were looking for. And with all of that information, we've come up with this idea and we think it's going to be amazing. <laughs> so this is the new thing that the K3 is going to start starting next Saturday. So mark your calendars. Starting next Saturday, we are going to do what we are going to call a live K-drama copy clatch. And we are going to start binging shows with you. You already have watched it. You're going to join us live. We're going to discuss those four episodes. Talk about yes. it. So our idea is kind of like a book club. You will watch four episodes. We will watch four episodes. We will meet here on YouTube every live. Saturday live and discuss. And the way we're going to get started is with the show that started it all for the K-3, Descendants of the Sun. Yeah. <laughs> So excited this to talk about this show, show forever. Right? We'll do a whole segment on this show. Of course, we're gonna do. Easily. We're, we're gonna, gonna do, do the like next the, four Saturdays. Saturdays. We are gonna talk to Sense of the Sun in four episode Yay. chunks. Yeah. Yay. So with that being said, we pretty much picked that one as our main one to start our binging with. But because we were like, well, we got to have other oh, shows shucks, after I have that. To watch it again. We yes. came up with our own <laughs> list of what other shows we would like to binge mm -hmm. with you after we finish the Sense of the Sun. So. To just bust through them all, we're going to give you our list, kind of what the high points are for them, and then let us know what you think of those lists and add anything to them in the comments below. So yeah. I will start. Descendants of the Sun, it really needs no introduction or why I would enjoy doing it. <laughs> so just join us next Saturday. The other one that I really would enjoy doing, The Player. Oh, yeah. The Player was a lot of fun. Found Family, oh. uh, Sung Sung Hyun, Crystal. E Shi Han. I mean, so a lot of just really fun. It's so have super fun. Oh, so much fun and yeah. kicking butt. Kicking butt, and I think it would just be a lot of fun to spend four weeks with everybody <laughs> talking about it and just loving it because it was. And then when we get season two, it'll be even more fun. Oh yeah. And then of course, no list of mine is ever complete without "Come and Hug Me" attached to it. <laughs> that one really needs no introduction as well. But "Come and Hug Me," oh. if we could spend four weeks just talking about "Come and Hug Me." I think Jen would be in K drama heaven. <laughs> so that's my that's my and then another quick three man to man, which I don't think gets enough play because oh, it was it's on it, Netflix. It's on Netflix, Netflix yeah. right? Really enjoyed it. Yes. A little messy at times, but super enjoyable. Oh, and it's romance, right? So and then you good. get Kim and Jung. Oh, when I, the first time I saw her, and I was like, she's quirky. I dig her. <laughs> so yeah, a lot of good stuff in that one for sure. Stranger, they do enough, please. She's, there's no way she wasn't making my list. And then Prison Playbook. So those are kind of, that's my, second that, that is my rundown really quickly of what shows I would like to eventually get to on this yeah, new segment of okay. ours. Those are my top six bingeable shows on Netflix and or Vicky. Yes. Ah! What cool. about you guys? For me on Netflix, Kingdom is, oh, uh, yes. Uh -oh. And I especially <laughs> want to binge it because we don't quite know when Kingdom season two is going to happen, yeah, that's but true. that would be great to lead up to that Ooh. again, just so we all are, refresh our memories about right. the zombies Some fresh and zombies. who they took out yes. and who's He's in play, out. but Bae Duna and Juju. Oh, please. Oh, it was so, so good. Best. It was. Best. Also on Netflix is Misang. It's a oh, show I yes. cannot stop talking about it. And I know you guys haven't watched it yet. It's been but on my list forever. It's so good. It's office culture and yet so enjoyable. The stories are so strong. Shiwan is so good. Um, it's such a breakout role for him. And Lee Sung Min as the boss and mentor that we all need in our lives. Nice. <laughs> Plus Kang Sora and uh, Kang Hanel. Oh, oh yeah, and this is where Byun Yo Han, who's in oh. Mr. Sunshine, this is where he broke out. He came oh, out of really? nowhere. People were like, how come we haven't seen him before? Oh. So he was. I think we need to add to the bench list because then I'll finally watch it. Yes. <laughs> <Marisa can> stop <laughs> needling you about exactly. that. Exactly. And then I can be like, Marisa, we yeah. did. I covered it in four episode chunks. <laughs> <laughs> it's going to be fantastic. And then also on Netflix, Reply 1997. Because the Reply oh, series as a whole yeah. are really They're great. Super popular, right? Super popular, really well written. Like, it's such a great director writer team. Nice. And this one is all about fangirling. <laughs> Oh, oh. So great. Um, so after watching her private life, I feel like we need to watch that one. I guess. Sure. And this was where, uh, so it's Jung Yunji as our f high school fangirl. And who's her best friend, neighbor, fellow classmate? So and Gook. Ooh. Oh. Ah. Ah. Yeah. And who has a crush on So and Gook? Everyone. Just gay storyline. Hoya oh, is in it. Oh. And like, oh, he is us. So nice. it was this is so well written okay. and I really love that show. On Vicky, I picked Go Back Couple. Because I don't oh, think people you watch it enough. Yeah. This, this show, yeah. yeah. But it's highly remember. recommended. It highly really recommended, is. even though I haven't watched it. And it's twelve episodes, so it's a little shorter. Mm. But Jang Nara 
right? And San Ho Jun, who we absolutely loved in Radiant. Love. They're a married couple who hate each other and they get a do over and go back to college <gasps> where she's reunited with Jen Ki Young. Oh, I mean, that bummer. is just win, 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 that's just, win. That's so much win. That's How so does much one winning. woman get that much win? That's oh, really my so question. Right? And I also love uh, Chief Kim. Yes! <laughs> Nam Goon Min. Nam Goon Min. Yes. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Of all the shows we've seen him in recently, that is the one that's the most enjoyable. It really was. That I really, was an amazing. it was a fantastic so character. Good. His yeah. bro- bromance with Juno. Oh, oh. <laughs> It was. When they came to, at the end when they came through the doors together, oh, and the music and the yeah. thing. Yeah. Oh, it was so oh. good. It was so, so good. good. Satisfying. That show was yeah. so satisfying. It really was. It was definitely yes. high on the list of satisfying. Because really, I don't know if you've noticed with these lists that we've come up with, pretty much every one of these shows were satisfying. Yes. <laughs> we are doing our best to not throw you an unsatisfying K-drama. Yes. Because <laughs> your K-drama watching time is valuable. It is valuable. Yes, and every minute there's another eight series. And right? So how do you wade through all so of them? So even though like a show like Misty was amazing! Until the, the last, last episode, minutes. we're not going to recommend, Can't it, recommend to you it because Can't we won't make we it. won't make you sit through that. No. And Memories of the Alhambra, a fantastic. I mean, off to a right. strong start. Amazing visuals, great concept. Nope, mm-hmm. did nope. not hold Can't up. Can't do it. But up. one that was top to bottom, A plus, excellent. Yes, Crown Clown. <gasps> oh, right. Yes. I did not watch at the time. I would yes. love to. Uh, see that. Oof. Uh, that would be uh, an amazing binge. I, you know, there's with uh, less anxiety every week, knowing how it ends. Or would it That's, be? Yeah, no. it was such a good show. No, because the anxiety, knowing that it was a K drama, I thought at any minute it was just going to blow Every, up in her face. Die. Die. You were going to die again, again and again. Yeah. Yeah, she right, was right, going right. to die, and they were going to be poisoned. They were all going to die oh. again. So yeah, that's a mm. that. Oh yeah, mm. bingeable. So bingeable. Then you can watch me go through the like. Yeah. <laughs> even, but that's the thing you can watch all things. Exactly. Oh yeah. You, oh. oh. <laughs> yes. I love this. Okay. All right, Karen, and what's your Great list? Great list. All right. Well, um, over on Netflix, I also love Prison Playbook, but since mm-hmm. it was on your list, I picked another um, differently epic show. Was which it on your list? Which, uh, it was Prison on Prison Playbook. It, was, it, was Prison on, Playbook. I, it would have been, but Jen put it on her list, so. Uh, okay. I picked something different, which is Mr. Sunshine. I may and give Karen Prison Playbook, just take Mr. Sunshine off the list. There <laughs> On this show. I, I mean, because I was looking through all of the shows on Netflix, and I was like, "What would I watch again?" Um, and you would you would watch Mr. Sunshine again from top to bottom? Well, here's the thing. I mean, I spoke with actually coworkers who watched the show, uh-huh. and people because it, it was airing at the time of KCON LA last year, mm-hmm. and there were people there who oh, were yeah. just loving it. So I'm like, "All right, all right well, if I'm going to make a." Solid recommendation to K-drama fans who may not have seen it or may be new to K-dramas. This could be a really interesting show to okay. start off with. So um, it would be a commitment because it is 20 episodes and they're all very, very long. long. Yeah. So, so we'll, maybe we'll see what the community thinks of this recommendation. I think that's a, it's a community vote. Yeah. So another one that we might enjoy better is Romance is a Bonus Book. Mm-hmm. I thought this was a great <laughs> ensemble show, even though ostensibly it was about a main couple and they're getting together. Yes. There were so many other characters and so many other stories that were covered, and I thought they were covered well and consistently throughout, even if the maybe the lead couple story didn't do that, but really, really fantastic ensemble cast. Um, and I thought it was a good storytelling and a really sweet premise of a publishing company. And finally on Netflix, it's a slightly older, though not super old, I don't think it violates your, your rule, oh. is, a, is a drama called Fantastic. And I really, am, I apologize that I didn't write the names of the actors, but you'll recognize a lot of the faces in this. But the storyline is about a young woman who's a television drama writer, and but she has, she's diagnosed with cancer. You're like, oh geez, this sounds familiar. Where it gets fun because it is a, is it is a romance. Is her ex boyfriend is a super super popular um, actor, like super, you know lives in this gorgeous you know one of those houses. You're like, how does anybody have a right. house like this? Um, but he's not this really known for being a great actor Aww. but of course their paths cross again because she's writing a television show and he wants to get cast in it I think he does get cast in it um, but it's just it's actually I thought it was a really good weaving together of the romantic couple but also you know she's got this big thing that she's dealing with sure. in life and is she going to survive is she not going to survive so a lot of really nice kind of life nice. life points about and it and it was so. satisfying it was very satisfying, okay. actually. Nice. And like, some good uh, supporting characters in that one as well. Ooh, I like right. that. What show would I want to watch again on Vicky? Oh, Healer. Yes. Yeah. <laughs> right? Healer was one of probably oh, like, yeah. first 20 shows oh, that I watched. Oh, easily. It was yeah. in that yeah. first, the first wave. Yeah. Of course. Yeah. Right? Yeah. Yeah. Everything so, about it was yeah. so good. So good. So much fun. Yeah. So that one. Okay. And then... Uh, Ji Chang Wook. 
Oh, please. Hawkman yeah. Young. Yeah. yeah. Thanks. Our favorite okay. Ajima. Ugh. Oh. Uh, in one of the so best good. roles that I've ever seen. Oh, okay. yeah. I still wait. I'm still waiting for her to come out with a, another Ajima. I know. I would, yeah. It's so fun. I would love to have her. Right? tech wizard. Oh, so great. Although one where she plays, uh, she's also in, but she plays the the, the aunt. Ooh, yeah. I did like her of in Of the main character yeah. is the master son. Yeah. Ooh, that'd be a fun one. I would yes. enjoy that one quite a bit. I've Absolutely. already watched that one twice. We should schedule oh, that one through. in Halloween. Oh, that'd yeah. Be so that'd be our top, that'd be yes. October one. Yes. So. I like it. I'm making a schedule already, people. Get ready. And then I don't know what time of year is good for alien stories, Jen. Always. <laughs> Always. But um, my love from another star. Oh, oh yeah. I like that really, too. really enjoyed good. that one. That was one. really enjoyable. Yeah. Good. That yeah. was, I like her. I like that writer a lot. Yeah. Woo. Mm -hmm. So I, I'd like to watch that one again. All right. We've got some shows. Oh, I think man. this is a great list of binging. So like we said, this is our new plan. We want to basically copy clutch with you on K-Drama. So that's going to be every Saturday. We're going to give you all the details. We're going to try and put them all together and get them out this week mm -hmm. uh, on Twitter, Instagram, Facebook. So we'll get you all the details as soon as we can. But just know this. Watch the first four episodes of Descendants of the Sun. Join us here on Saturday. Yeah. And we will discuss them live with you. So you can ask questions. You can throw out your opinions. We can talk Share about your it. thoughts. We're just basically doing a big old K-Drama copy class slash book club yeah and we're starting with descendants of the sun Ooh, i'm excited about this I'm what about you guys yeah, so be fun? looking forward so to good. it yes yep. i can basically talk jingu and kim ji won for four weeks <laughs> <laughs> yes, i'm so happy so good we're the gay three i'm jen i'm karen i'm marissa keep the k-drama copy clutch going keep it going over here at the weekly watch list where we basically cover all the dramas that one person can watch in a week <laughs> we tell you what our thoughts are on them so let's keep that going over there bye